Boogeyman Ben. Hey everyone, it's Boogeyman Ben. Hope everyone's doing well. I've um, got another uh, movie review that I want to talk about this evening. Um, this is an IFC film. Um, this is one that a friend of mine at work recommended to me. I had seen trailers for it, and initially the trailers kind of turned me off a little bit from it because it is a found footage style horror film. And as I've said before in some of my past reviews, like for Mr. Jones, um, I'm tired of that that side of the horror genre right now I just think it's cheap and lazy and um, I'm burning out on that tile that that style of uh, filmmaking it just I just feel like it's just there's nothing to it and it's just there's nothing that they can do interesting with it um, so when my buddy talked to me about this film I was kind of hesitant a little bit but then I found it uh, really reasonably at Walmart and so I thought I'd pick it up and give it a watch and if I was out you know nine bucks for you know it was only nine dollars um, that I could always trade it at Rasputin's and get something I really wanted. Um, so the movie I'm talking about is The Den. Um, this was a movie I watched uh, last Thursday after picking it up. And I'm anxious to tell you my thoughts on it. So I'm going to give a little bit of a plot breakdown, uh, talk about the cast and who, um, who directed it and who wrote it. And I hope everyone looks forward to this. Please stay tuned. Plot of the Den focuses on the character of Elizabeth, who is studying the habits of a webcam chat users. Um, she does all this from the safety of her apartment, and during um, her studies, she witnesses a brutal murder online and is quickly immersed in a nightmare in which she and her loved ones are targeted for the same grisly fate as the first victim. Movie stars Melanie Papalia as Elizabeth. David Schlachtenhoff as Damien. You have Matt Reedy as Sergeant Tisbert. Adam Shapiro as Max. And Victoria Hanlon as Brienne. The movie was written by Zachary Donahoe and Lauren Thompson. And the movie was directed by Zachary Donahoe. Now, I have to say I was pleasantly surprised by The Den. Um, I think what made this movie stand out from other found footage style films is that it's not found footage. In fact, it's live. It's all the way that the directors did it was they shot it from the actual devices. They shot the movie with the actual devices that the character of Elizabeth is using. So if she's on a, you know, uh, computer camera, uh, you know, camera that's mounted to the computer, that's the camera they're shooting from. Um, they did the same thing with, uh, like cell phones and things like that. Every camera in it, it was, that's how they shot the film. And it was pretty ingenious. Um, I really liked the character of Elizabeth. I, I thought th Melanie Papalia, uh, did a great job. I think if her character would have been, if she, if they would have gotten a weak actress, I don't think I would have been as invested, but I am invested in her character right from the start. I mean, she gets this grant to do this research and she's in this web chat thing called the den and you know she's meeting some nice people some weird people and um the things that start to happen to her life and to her family and friends lives after she witnesses the murder um is pretty disturbing and there's some scenes that really get under your skin in this film and it almost just makes you feel like you know it's not safe to be on the web um and there's some really creepy people out there and the devices that they go to to torment her are are they, they they freaked me out i mean this movie really did creep me out i've heard comparisons of like this is a like a rear window for you know the computer generation or for the you know the the tech the tech generation of now 
And I think it's it's actually a pretty good, you know, it, it describes this film pretty well. I mean, I don't think it's nowhere near as good as Rear Window, which is a Hitchcock classic, but I really did, I have to admit, this movie was really well done. Um, it wasn't a lot of shaky cameras except for maybe a couple scenes, but it was it made sense because either the camera was mounted to somebody's head or they were, you know, they were holding like a cell phone or something like that. But it's still nothing like some of the ones that I've talked about in the past. So yeah, I actually really enjoyed this film. And for nine bucks, it was completely worth it. Um, I would definitely watch it again. I would definitely recommend people checking it out. If I had to give it a rating, um, I would give it an 8.5 out of 10. Um, I really enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, it's not my favorite movie I've seen, but... It was creepy. It got under my skin. Uh, the lead actress was terrific. Uh, the supporting cast uh, did a great job as well. And uh, it did its job of getting under my skin and, and freaking me out. It's a movie that does not make you feel safe with all of the technology and all the ways that people can sort of get to you um, or access uh, your information uh, through the web and do it like anonymously. It's just really, really creepy. So really well done. Excellent film. And uh, that is my review of The Den. If anybody else has seen it, uh, please share your thoughts with me in the comment section below. And that's going to be about it. And stay tuned for some more uh, reviews coming up very soon. I hope everyone's doing well. Thanks a lot. Take it easy. Peace.